Do public officials have the right to block their constituents from their personal social media pages? The Supreme Court is taking up the issue. On Tuesday, the justices heard oral arguments to decide whether a public official's social media activity constitutes state action only if the official used the account to perform a governmental duty or under the authority of his or her office. There are two similar cases, O'Connor Ratcliffe versus Garnier, in which two school board members in California blocked parents who were critical of their work from their social media pages, and Linky versus Freed, in which a city manager in Michigan blocked a constituent from his personal social media page, citing harassment. In both cases, the constituents say their First Amendment rights were violated when the public officials blocked them from posting criticism to their social media pages. The justices will decide if public officials' personal social media pages are official government duty and if public officials are allowed to block constituents who post criticism. Two lower courts came up with legal tests to determine if a public official's personal social media account is state action. In one case, the lower court determined the account's appearance and purpose deemed them state action. In another case, the lower court ruled that state action requires an exercise of duty or authority. Lawyers for the public officials argue the officials created their pages before life in public office and did use their pages to post about their jobs. However, the pages were not official government duty, and the public officials also shared their personal lives, including pictures of their families and pets. Let me also give you a practical reason why this is the right way to think about it. You're setting up a trap for the unwary. There are lots of government officials in this country. They're probably not all going to read this court's decision. And if you adopt a rule that the only way they can exercise their rights under Halleck to exclude people from their personal property is to include a disclaimer, some of those people aren't going to do it, and they're going to lose their First Amendment rights. And that's the exact opposite of how the First Amendment normally works. Lawyers for the constituents argue public officials are never off the clock, and their pages that are used to communicate government business does not immunize them from constitutional scrutiny. Under our test for state action, a public official who creates a channel for communicating with constituents about in-office conduct and then blocks a user from that channel must abide by the Constitution. This test, which focuses on how the public official is using and purporting to use that account, is consistent with this Court's precedent under which a public official who purports to act in that capacity is a state actor. The Supreme Court will decide on the issue four years after a federal appeals panel ruled that former President Donald Trump had violated the Constitution after he blocked critics on Twitter. The panel ruled since Trump used the account for official government business, he couldn't block constituents from seeing the content. The Supreme Court dismissed the case in April of 2021, throwing out the lower court ruling on the grounds that it was moot following Trump's loss in the 2020 election. Decisions in these cases are expected in June 2024.